Hello and welcome back to Witcher Kings. We are about to go and beat up the Skytel all the way over here, so time to just let the game go. And then we're going to try and see if we can somehow get into Redania a little bit more or get down into uh, this one down here. Basically just try and expand all over the place. My son is overcome with an illness. Oh, he has pneumonia. Fantastic. We'll call for a court physician. It doesn't actually call for your court physician. It's just, do you want to continue receiving the events? It's not. Um, the reason it's fantastic he has pneumonia is because it means that we might be able to lower the number of children we have, so our gavel kind's not as bad. However, it's not the case. Um, our wife is pregnant once again. So even if our son does die, we're still kind of screwed. Now, when can we change inheritance law? We can change it whenever we want, I think, as long oh, as no vassals are fighting each other. That's a bit annoying. And no vassal account has a negative opinion of you. It's the same for all of them. Not all of them. Oh no, they all need the vassals not to be fighting each other. That's unfortunate. I would almost take elective at this point. Elective I actually quite like. We're in a really bad position for us. A pack of werewolves have appeared. Uh, we did invite a witcher, but, you know, the witcher's not arrived yet. Uh, this person died. Who are they? Who knows? Uh, oh, it's the... Oh, it's our former wife. Alright, yes, of course, I forgot her. Uh, we're losing the battle against the Skytel. This, this isn't the way it was scripted. My commander was cornered and slain. Oh, dear. Well, this is also going to make the faction stronger, which is just, you know, the best. Let's put in a Chancellor, because our former one died. Uh, probably this druid who hates everything. And then he can just try and improve relations with himself down here. Just go and do that. You can't do that. Okay, that's fine. I thought you could. Maybe maybe they fixed that uh, little uh, tweak that you could do. Or that little um, maneuver. Let's see who we want. Probably this guy. You want to improve opinion with? Yeah, that works for me. We'll go and tell him to uh, improve opinion. Nice. We're going to lose this fight. Not that big a deal because um, like, we can reinforce. Steward, give us some extra money. My son is dead. Great. Uh, minor titles. We're wanting the tights. Uh, Want to give this person our commander title. Right, let's go. Uh, we're, we're still kind of, you know, juggling a little bit here. This child needs a new ed educator because pr his previous one died, which is nice when you use it for opinion again. Look at that. No factions. Uh, why? Well, it's probably because most of the people were in the other faction that we got rid of. But anyway. Um, who do we want to... I, th I think we want this person to educate our uh, son. I guess an extra 10 opinion, which puts him into liking us state. Commanders. Um, guess. Oh, he's Craven, so that's not good. Uh, you'll, you'll do. You'll do. Right. Continue just kind of holding out. Making sure we're like, getting back up to uh, strength. <sighs> right. Head up here, and then we can go and beat up that army. We need to wait a little bit. Hopefully these guys will come back over to us. Can we tell them to do that again? Oh, Stannis wasn't ever told to come to us. Well, that'll explain it. Um, okay, our wife gave birth to a stillborn daughter. That's not the worst thing that could have happened to us there. Having less children's all right. Having a daughter would be actually be fine because I guess it's another alliance position, but you know, we, we, we can't get everything. That, that, that'll definitely do for just now though. Uh, our daughter is unbetrothed. We could maybe find somebody. King of Kovar is available. Um, yeah. All right. King of Skellige is available. Let's have a look here. Skellige has 2,000 men. Kovar, that's, that's the Kovarian revolt. How strong are you, by the way? 3,000 against... 5,000. So Kovar is actually a very strong person to have with us. Okay. Um, who else can we get you to marry? Uh, wait, was I on a ranged marriage before? Maybe, maybe I'd, I sorted by rank, maybe. Wait, where's Kovar? This is the same child, right? Yeah. Oh. That button just... Okay, these are different buttons. I think I knew that before, but like, that's weird. It's very weird. I think we want to marry the king of... We want our daughter to marry the king of 
cover. That seems fair. Yeah, we'll go. We'll go with that. That gets us another alliance. We can then. Well, we need to like actually get the alliance. He doesn't want it. Oh well. We we might get it in the future. It's all right. Uh, I want to go and attack in here. We have enough men. You've made our vassal like us more. Great job. Um, you still don't like us yourself. Is there anything we can do? We could award him another honorary title. Uh, we can't award him anymore. We send him a gift. There we go. He likes us now. Who doesn't like us out of our vassals? We got a negative nine, but we're actually... There we go. All of our vassals like us. That is a nice tick on that one. Needs to be at peace, and we have no vassals fighting each other. Now, the, you, there is a way in Conclave to do that. There's just a button you can press. I don't know. I don't think it's in this one. We would have to change the law so vassals couldn't fight each other. Um, means we would have to go where? We'd have to go up to High Crown Authority. Well, that's not happening. What's it called? That's it's called Crown Obligations. I think that's Crown Authority. Yeah, that must be... That is Crown Authority, I think, usually. Um, right. Well, I say usually. Usually, if you're playing without Conclave. Um, just kind of... Yeah, you don't usually do. Sign this person a Guardian. Highest ranked. You don't like us. Perfect. Right. And we're beating up the army 100%. Offer peace. Force demands. Disband our men. Okay. I mean, hold a grand tournament. Well, that would just make everyone like us. We don't need to do that. I just need to find vassals who are fighting each other. Uh, I can demand that they surrender to revolts. That might work. Uh, that's not where I'm after. I'm looking for people to who are at war with each other. Ancor and revolt war for someone's claim on Ancor. Wait, is that the same one? Oh, uh, okay. So, yeah, there's a couple of different wars going on down here. In fact, there's just non-stop wars. In which is claim on something. Um, so you are defending against Tartwick of someone's claim for that. So you need to end your war. I want you to give peace. So that's the all right. Let, maybe what we should do is we should find all of our vassals and just find the people we want to make like who are at war. Let's start with highest ranked. There we go. Let's start with or uh, no, let's start with highest opinion. People who like us the most. We ask them to st stop their wars. Um, if it's make peace, I think that's fine. So you're not at war. You, we could ask you to surrender to your revolts. Um, could we ask the revolts to that? Could we ask the people you're at war with to surrender instead? Yeah, I want you to make peace. And then we're going to go back. We're going to say next person you're at war with. I want you to make peace. There we go. Cannot end my war. That's unfortunate. All right, well, that's how useful that one is. I really would like people to, you know, not be at war right now so that we can uh, change our inheritance law. So it's not awful. I would really like primogenitor if that's also okay. Uh, looks like it is. If we can just get... Oh wait, nope. Primogenitor is not true. Primogenitor is not allowed. Um, Tanistry? No vassals fighting each other. One of the following must be true. Nah, that doesn't work. Ultimate janitor can't have that either. Seniority? Um... Yeah... Okay... Nope. Nope, can't do that one either. Elective is the only one we can switch to. Oh, okay. Um... Well, we could try and change our crown obligations to medium, but we're at, we're at none right now, I think, so that's not going to be easy. Ultimate janitor, the same thing. Well, that ultimate janitor means we have to have high crown obligations. Tanistry? We have to either have to be a patrician or have medium. Well, if tanistry is on the same tier as primogenitor, by the way, and ultimate janitor, there's no way you should ever go for either of the other two if the same requirements get you tanistry. Okay, how often can we change these? Every uh, 50 years, huh? Well, that's sure gonna guess. That's not good. 
Um, what do we want to do here? I guess we want to go for elective. We just can't do this one, right? We can't do seniority? No. Just not an option. Can we destroy titles? Uh, we looked into that, but I can't remember what the outcome was. Was it that if no vassal hated you, you could destroy titles? No. Uh, if your succession type is not gavel kind, you can destroy titles. Uh yeah, and it, all the ones below us changed the gavel kind as well, didn't they? Yep. So, the only way out of this is to leave being a king. If we become an emperor, that will actually allow us out of the problem. Yeah, it's that easy, right? Just become an emperor. Alright, so we need duchies in Redania that we can declare war on. And we need this guy to not be in charge of Redania because the truce is annoying us. So, kill him. And then we're going to look in Redania for duchies and we're going to look for people who we can claim. So you're a duke. We don't want de jure. We want what people actually control. Uh, we want this one. This one is quite definitely within Redania. Do you have any claimants? Yes, but none will join our court. Are they strong claims? Well, we can see the reason. We can't see the reasons why they wouldn't join. Okay. I think they might join if they get to a high enough opinion, if they have a strong claim. None do, though. Okay, this one? Uh, this one is in Redania. Uh, de jure? Yeah, it's de jure in Redania, so that's good. Um, you, do you have any claimants? You have some claimants. You, oh, you have a strong claim on the duchy, but you hate me, like, for many reasons. No strong claim. You have a strong claim on a county. You have a strong claim on the duchy, but you also hate me because you're also zealous. Everyone with a strong claim is zealous. Okay. Um, that doesn't seem like there's a great way. Is the Redania alt, does it extend to the north as well? It does. So this one up here is actually not the worst. It's three provinces. If we can find a claimant who's willing to take up uh, the war. Uh, you might be able to doesn't hate us a lot, he might accept our invitation. If we sent him a gift, would you accept our invitation to court? No. Ooh, because you like the Duke. That's your only reason why. Because you like the Duke. There's nothing else I can give him to get his... Like, I could give him our children? That's not going to work. Okay, we, we really need this other kingdom. Um... Let's try this one. You got? Have you got anything underneath you that we can perhaps steal? You can actually. I didn't check that in Redania. Does he control any duchies himself? The Duchy of Oxenfurt, which isn't in Redania. The Duchy of that, which we control. No. So he doesn't control anything we can steal either. That's annoying. Maybe we should have attacked down here with our uh, claim. Uh, it doesn't matter though. Duchy here. That's a good duchy. Uh, what do we need for um, your kingdom, by the way? Same stuff, I assume, but... Cannot usurp it from someone who's at war. We need 50%, okay? Let's see what we have in this kingdom. So, de jure, we have... So, how many does he have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So, we need 8. So, if we were to take his duchy here, that would give us 4. We need to take two duchies from him, effectively. Well, a duchy in two provinces. Okay. Um, can we find somebody who has good claims on you? Well, not on your kingdom, on your duchy. Um, there are no claimants. Well, that's not, never a good start. What about uh, Rastberg with the female heir? Come on, you got a bit. There's one claimant. So that would allow us to attack over there. So... There are, uh, there is somebody who's trying to do a dull blathen reclamation over there. So, yeah, okay. How strong is this person? They're not that strong. We could definitely declare our war. I think if we could declare our war and call Stenison, that might invalidate her war. Maybe. Hey, hey, it just said he would accept. Ten seconds ago, it said he would accept. Wait, I'll send him a gift. Now he'll accept. Nice. 
Well, we're going to go for this war. Let's see how it goes. We brought that guy in. Now, what we have to do... First of all, check that we can declare the war. Well, on the person above. Declare a war for that. Perfect. We can declare the war. Now, before we do that, very important step. We have to give away one of our provinces. Uh, let's give away this one. And the reason we have to do that is so that this guy, who we've... Uh, who I've lost temporarily. Uh, this guy. Um, if we were to just declare the war, he would get the duchy and the, la and the land would stay within this pro place and he would just become a duke. But if we give him land, he is now our vassal. So if he takes land, it goes to us. Right, so let's do that. So we're going to include lower titles. There we go. He's now a baron for us. Now, when we declare, which we're going to do right now, that gets us the province. There are a fair few people who would declare on us, though, because we're threatening. Uh, how old is the lady? She's 12, so we have three years. That's not too bad. Scoia'tael Revolt. I hate them so, many, so much. Uh, we have 8,000 men we can raise up now, though. That's not too bad. I said we're not going to raise up our own men because we want them to recharge. We're just going to use vassal men for this war. Um, I want you to merge over here. That works. Right, cool. Uh, we'll call in our allies to this war, because why not? I mean, the worst that they can say is no. And they're not going to say no because it's only a revolt war. It's fine. There's another Scoia'tael revolt, which is just perfect. Oh, and they're sniping our men as we're trying to merge up. I really hate it when the AI does that, because it's really good as a strategy. Okay, they're also killing our vassals men, which is not as bad. Okay. Uh, excuse me? Well, we're just kind of going into that meat grinder over there. But that's fine. We'll keep merging up. And wait till we have the full army together. Merge. Uh, I want everyone to join this army. Want to make sure we have the best leaders, who are probably just going to be the top three. Then we're going to go beat up the weaker army. Let's go do it. Just head over here, and we should destroy it just in time for that army to meet us. Uh, we can expose this person who's trying to fabricate a claim. I don't care. Uh, we can call in this person again. Oh, to our other Scarito revolt. That's fine. Uh, call in that one. Call that person into our other Scarito revolt. Don't know where he's going. Stance is just off in his own little world. That's alright, though. Oh, he's going to de siege, I think. Ah, okay. Well, we beat the army. Let's enforce our demands. Then we're going to head over here and we're going to go beat up this army. Hopefully Stannis turns around and helps us. I thought he was going to go beat up the... Uh... But where is he going? Oh, he's following us slowly. Okay, that's not the worst. I thought he was going to de-siege that because I thought that was in this war for some reason, but it's not. Okay, we have 12,000 men. Time to go beat up this army. There we go. Yeah. Goodbye, men. Right, let's just enforce our demands. Let's disband our troops. Uh, we can still hold the Grand Tournament, but there's still no reason to. Uh, anything else that we need to be doing? We're still trying to kill the King of Redania. Uh, who does it even go to after this? It goes to Casimir of something. Okay. I just want to kill him so we have another way to declare a war on him. I don't think... Yeah, it's not really going to do very much for us, though. Uh, anything else we need to do? Not really. I mean, what we could do if we want to do if we want to get around Gavelkind, could we not give our son Ah, we can't give kingdoms under Gavelkind. That seems fair. That seems fair. Although I'm not sure if you can even give away kingdoms if you're a king. Uh you should be able to, yeah. Okay. Anyway, I'm gonna end the episode here. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Goodbye.